The Learning Zone starts at 2 o'clock here on BBC Two Northern Ireland, and until then, we cross over to BBC News 24. So, from everyone still here at Broadcasting House in Belfast, it's good night. So, Malcolm in the Middle in 50 minutes on BBC Two Northern Ireland after Kirk goes a-hunting for a devil in the dark. Some changes to our schedule for the rest of the night on BBC Two. Our cricket coverage of Australia's One Day International with New Zealand will now be shown at a quarter past one, followed at five to two by a late night laugh with Family Guy, after which the mood changes with our horror movie Thirst, which can now be seen at 2.15. And the reason for our rebuild on BBC Two is this, World Championship Boxing from Las Vegas. Imagine Monty Python without the spam song. Terry Jones swears he'd be rid of it if only he could turn back time. Dara O'Brien hosts a brand new series here on BBC Two tomorrow at 11.20. That's it for tonight though, just time for me, Paul Reed, to wish you a very good night. In a new series, we're off for a dander with musician and storyteller Willie Drennan. That's at 7.30. Well, now here on BBC Two and I, for the Queen's Cooks, it's Judgment Day. Joe Swift nurtures his passion for community gardening in the first of three special programmes to mark the new season of Gardener's World. That's in half an hour. Right now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, a new year at Q. Well now, what is the funniest place in Britain? BBC Two Northern Ireland charts the comedy map at five past ten. But now, as part of the Tchaikovsky experience across the BBC, the turbulent last days of the great romantic composer. You're watching BBC Two Northern Ireland. Now, Newsnight with Gavin Esler and Newsnight Review with Kirsty Walk. Exploring a mysterious coastline which is home to thousands of islands bursting with life. Wild Caribbean is at 20 past 8. First though here on BBC Two Northern Ireland, the appeal of the all gung slinging action movie is examined in tonight's Culture Show. Well, that wasn't meant to happen, never mind. Schools programmes through the night. The magic key opens the learning zone here on BBC Two from 2am. BBC News 24 is our guest till then. If you're off to bed, though, I hope you sleep well. From me, Paul Reid, good night. Enthusiastic entrepreneurs in search of a golden opportunity. A new series of Dragon's Den tomorrow at 8. Back to tonight, and The Learning Zone follows at 2am, but first on BBC Two, an eye on world events with Nighttime News 24. For me, Paul Reid, good night.
Also tomorrow, after four weeks of intensive training, Ron Atkinson commentates on a major football match, and Esther Ranson interviews live on the biggest chat show in France. Will it be a coup de grace or a public humiliation? The final showdown on Excuse My French at nine. That's it for tonight, though. For me, Paul Reid, good night. Now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, Dr Alice Roberts. And if you don't like eye operations and eye dissection, well, you'd better look away right now. In a change to the schedule, Greenmount Garden is in half an hour here on BBC Two NI. But first, John Sweeney investigates the life of Tony Blair's most trusted fundraiser, Lord Levy. On the Culture Show tonight, Bill Bailey with the BBC Concert Orchestra, an alternative folk scene and alternative comedy, plus Patrick Stewart on Star Trek and Shakespeare, along with music from Micah. That's tonight at half past seven here on BBC Two, Northern Ireland. Late night comedy for BBC Two Northern Ireland with Mock the Week in an hour, followed by Room 101. But first, we're starting with a look back to where it all began. The comedy map of Britain. Kids are watching the baby with chaotic results. Malcolm in the middle at 2am. Before that, good old fashioned sci-fi from Star Trek on the way in 20 minutes. And until then, BBC News 24. Well, that's just about it from BBC Two Northern Ireland for tonight. Revise wise on the Learning Zones getting arty at 2am. To take us there, we're handing over now to BBC News 24. So for me and the late team here in Belfast, good night. Confidence could take a battering now on BBC Two Northern Ireland. And unless you're as cool as this ice cube, your underwear may go up in flames. Such is the pressure of the Dragon's Den. Here's a chance to relive this week's show. Now on BBC Two and I with some strong language, it's the last leg of the race to the pole, and the Brits are on their last legs. The ironically named Ski Sunday special slips in in half an hour. First, foodies and wine bowls, your days are numbered. As BBC Two Northern Ireland brings us a brand new series from those old grumps, with a side serving of some strong language. Tomorrow night, after we escape from the Dragon's Den, Hollywood star Ben Stiller acts up amongst the extras at nine. Following that, the Stargazers face a dark secret. Supernova is at 9.30. Then at 10, blowing the time trumpet, Armando Iannucci looks back to the future of 2008. Back to tonight, and News 24 is on air in just a moment, taking us through to the Learning Zone at 2am. From BBC Two, though, and myself, Paul Reid, it's good night. Sleep tight. Beloved Cornwall in the company of Rick Stein. Benjamin and me is at nine. A quick trip around Strangford Loch and Coast at 9.50. Then Aussie Girls Rule, cult comedy with Kath and Kim at 10. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
As for tonight, BBC News 24 will take us through to the learning zone at 2, which means I can head off home. So from BBC Two Northern Ireland and me, Aaron Alexander, good night. Good evening, thanks for joining us here on BBC Two Northern Ireland, where the staff of the Royal Botanical Gardens are feeling the heat of a new year at Kew in half an hour. And then a new series as Gardener's World returns at 8.30, taking a look at community gardening. But first, a one-man crusade to save the Essex boar from extinction. It's a delicate business. This is BBC Two Northern Ireland. A quick look ahead to Thursday night here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Hearts and Minds is at 7.30 and later the conclusion to the verdict at 9 o'clock. But that's just about it for Wednesday. We're back tomorrow. Hope you can join us then. BBC News 24 is coming up next. Then it's the Learning Zone at 2 o'clock. From all of us here at BBC Northern Ireland in Belfast, good night. changing face of BBC Two. If you haven't heard, our numerical friend is off for a quick nip and tuck, and from tomorrow morning he'll have a fresh new complexion. So before we welcome the new, a celebration of the past.